Hello, this is Brandon. It is Tuesday, August 28th. Uh, been a pretty slow day today, um, and I just finished with my trading, so I thought might as well do my video and wrap it up. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So yeah, pretty darn choppy today. Price just staying between the overnight high and the overnight low. A little bit of an excursion here, um, but uh, you'll see our, our rules kept us safe there. So uh, anyway, let's zoom in, take a look at a couple of few trades that set up today. So here's the opening bell right here, 630. Um, you know what? I didn't even mark that. I don't take trades within the first five minutes after the opening bell. Um, so I, I don't that trade set up like uh, not even three minutes after the opening bell. So <clears throat> that uh, those trade setups I avoid um, this one. Let's see here. Just just for fun. The entry there would be at 84.25. Our double down would be seven points higher, which would take it to 91 and a quarter, uh, which is here. And the stop would be five points above that. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, definitely would have been a double down loser right there um, which again that's why I avoid those those trades that set up in that first five minutes at least this trade set up um, this is a counter trend trade because you're going short directly into the third rail your uh, price is above the third rail and you're this is a setup to go short so generally, I, I uh, skip those almost all the time. Anyway, this is a uh, strong move down. The trend line, of course, goes to red. Uh, we get a pullback with two closes above the trend line and the reversal. So the short entry price there would be 86 and a quarter. Seven points higher is 93 and a quarter right there uh, the stop would be five points above that which is obviously safe and it comes back here and would fill the target so that trade would have been a double down winner <coughs> excuse me uh, this trade here uh, pretty nice pretty nice setup Price is moving down. You get a pullback. This one doesn't qualify because it's only one close above the trend line. And then it goes down a little bit further. And there you get your pullback. Two closes above the red trend line. It stays red. It reverses. And there it goes. Now, this is a, um, this is a counter trend trade setup that uh, I actually like a little bit better because for the most part this is pretty it's either sideways or slightly bullish and I see this move downward as kind of being temporary um, I also like how the uh, the trade is setting up right here at the 50 percent between the overnight low and the overnight high um, so yeah, if you hadn't figured it out, I actually took this trade. The entry there was at 82.75, meaning the double down was uh, seven points lower, which is 75.75, which is right here. And then it comes back to the original entry price. Um, again, I don't, I don't try to get out I try to get out of, bo of both contracts with a three tick loss on the original contract and a 25 tick profit 
on the second contract. So um, I got out right there. So double down strategy saves the day once again. Now I'm really not a fan of this setup and I didn't take it because really sideways price action here. Um, this is a nice bullish move and you know if I had gotten a, maybe a fast break setup maybe I would have taken it but instead I get all this um, all this up and down up and down that that kind of price action in my mind that sort of automatically disqualifies um, any any kind of setup that might show up in this area after that it's, it's, there's just so much fighting going on there between the bulls and the bears it's really not clear that you know one side is doing you know one side is much stronger than the other side and that's really what this trading system is about this strategy is about momentum and it's about taking trades when it is very very clear that one side of the market is stronger than the other side um, you know when price is really moving and it's very clear what direction it's going then you know you just have to wait for a pullback and grab a trade um, so yeah so this trade was a, was different than that this was a, more of a play of you know price action is going sideways do I really believe that it's just gonna go straight down from here I mean, of course it could I, I but I didn't believe it would um, and so I got a valid trade set up here with the green trend line uh, the momentum was up there was a pullback and got two closes below the green trend line it was green still and, and then uh, off it went well <laughs> not quite off it went it backed up and that's it that's the really amazing thing about the uh, double down strategy um, is it, it's like magic it turns a losing trade into a winning trade it's it's just unbelievable you do have to you do have to stomach larger swings in your you know in your account balance because you know when I have a full double down losing trade it's it's minus three hundred and forty seven dollars including commissions that's a big loss and especially when considering my winners are only 96 bucks you know so it takes four winning trades to make up for a double down loser but at the same time the double down strategy doesn't have many losers it it has this amazing ability to take a losing trade and turn it into a winning trade um, so I recently looked at my um, win-loss ratio and I considered the double down trades as one trade even though it's logistically it's two two individual trades I treated it all as one trade and it was either a winner or a loser um, and turns out my uh, my win rate has been better than 80 percent which is pretty uh, pretty amazing I'm pretty happy with that um, anyway I didn't mean to brag or anything um, So then we had a trade set up right here. This is a good move up. This pullback doesn't qualify because it's only one close below, but then we get one, two closes below, and the reversal right there at the third rail. Um, one, two, three, four, five points there, and there's your there's your target right there. So that was a winning trade as well. Now this trade setup was quite interesting in, in how it actually played out because, well, first of all, it, it, it occurred right here next to the overnight low. And as you know, I, I skipped trades that set up right near the overnight low or the overnight high. So definitely didn't take this trade setup. Um, but this is a really nice strong move down. And this pullback is too deep. The trend line actually turns green there. Uh, then it heads down again and then this is the this is the pullback here again this is not like a 9 or a 10 type of trade setup you, you know even if the overnight low hadn't been right here um, I still wouldn't be crazy about this trade setup 
Um, but you know, it, it would it would be one that I would say maybe it's a seven, seven or somewhere between a seven and an eight trade setup. If I'm ranking it on a scale of one to ten, I would say this kind of setup is is not as great as as, as the nines and tens that I've showed you many times on these videos. Uh, but it, it does qualify. The move down here turn, turns the red uh, turns the trend line to red. We get a pullback, one, two, closes over, reversal, and check this out. So the entry would have been 69 and a quarter, meaning your target would be 64 and a quarter. And guess where it goes? 64 and a quarter exactly before reversing. So, you know, maybe you get a miracle fill there. Maybe you don't. It's the difference between a winning trade and a losing trade. So already we've seen where our rules are keeping us out of uh, potentially losing trades. And this would have been a full double down loser, of course. Um, so, so yeah, um, I do not take trades around the overnight low and high because of this. And I do not take trades within that first five minutes of the trading session because of what I showed earlier. Anyhow, <clears throat> this trade here, uh, the entry is at 80, 75. Well, first of all, very nice move upward. Um, green trend line all the way. One close, two closes below, and reversal. Love it. Nice looking setup. It is a little sketchy because of the 50% right here. So a little bit, mm, you know, not a perfect 10 but I would say a good solid nine, good solid nine right here. And this one doesn't go to target right away, 80.75. So 85.75 is right here. Uh, so it reverses, comes down here. Now uh, the double down would be seven points lower. So 73.75, you know, I kind of hate these ones where it almost gets to the double down order but doesn't quite get there. I, I, you know, I don't mind being double down because then I don't have to go as far in the opposite direction to get my profit target. If I double down, all I got to do is go, you know, price just has to go back to my uh, original entry minus three ticks and I'm good to go. So this one, you know, 73, 75, there's no fill. Now all of a sudden you're, you're left with your original target, which is, again five points above your original entry and you're just riding one contract and hoping it's going to go all the way and fortunately in this case it did um, so we might actually have no never mind we almost had a, a, um, a fast break setup right here um, but now you see price is touching the trend line so that would disqualify that Okay, so I think that's about it for today. Hopefully short and sweet, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Click the thumbs up button for me if you don't mind, and I will see you next time. Thank you.